Good morning, modern stutters. Good morning, CWC. I see a huge puddle under here. I don't know if it's from all the rain or if they broke their watering nipples and drained their 55 gallon drum. Nope. That's got water in it still. Oh yeah, that bucket's still half full. There you girls go. There you go. I wonder how much brighter this barn is going to be compared to what the new barn will be. We don't got any overhead lights in the roof panel, skylights. So we're going to have to add in some regular lights. Probably wait to do that till fall or winter. You'll be coming to such a good milker, Willow. This is Willow's second freshening. And what a world of difference it is milking her from last year and even from the beginning of this year. I know a lot of people don't like seeing me use this hand milker, but man, it has made a world of difference with her. And it's made milking a lot more enjoyable for me too. So calm this morning, Willow. You're so calm. Good girl. Magnolia goes right for the milkshake. She says, thank you, Mom. The meat birds sound nice and lively this morning. Do we still have four chickens in here? I hope we didn't lose any more. We still have four. Oh, Moosefer. Traffic jam. You guys see that? <laughs> Look at that. You know what that means? <laughs> that means we got electricity down to the barn. No more running long extension cords. Ah, <sighs> yes. Plenty of room for outlets. I've never had power out to an outbuilding before. Feels good. We'll be able to charge up our batteries, run our power tools right here. <laughs> get in the barn all wired up and get lights in here. That'll be a fall winter project. But it's gonna be nice just having power right here, guys. All right, in the last video, we started building our first door. We have two, three more to build today. Hope we can get them done. I'm hoping to get two more done today. I don't have enough lumber to make the third one. That's gonna look nice. We gotta finish cutting out the width and the length. That's gonna make a nice door. That one door is gonna be a full length door. The next two doors we're gonna be building are gonna be Dutch doors, so we're gonna be able to open top and the bottom, so I'll show you how we're gonna make them. All right, so we need to get a width, which is 41 and a half. So if we make this door, say 44 inches, to start out, and then a length, we're going to need Say 68. Yeah, 68. That'll work. And see what the back door is going to give us. Back door will give us. So, same thing 44. 
but we're gonna go for a length 82. We're gonna have to get wood today to finish this up. We're not gonna have enough boards here. Bummer. All right, so let's get this cut down first. Cut. over for back pieces. These Dutch days are gonna make a little different. Alright, set that aside and let's get the door front assembled. Get these three boards cut down to the widths we need. We'll put a five degree bevel on them again. So let's set our five degree bevel. And we're going to need the first pass, 10 and three quarters, 10 and three quarters. Just wanna make sure they're all the same. That's a little bit wider, but that's fine. So, set it at 10, three quarters, I can't just off a smidge. We gotta come in, cause that top edge being a five degree angle is off. Boom. All right, let's get these three boards ripped. Now we need to go, we'll go 10 inches. And that'll give us a good even number. All right, so let's go. Flush everything up on the bottom edge here. And we can... So if we wanna go 10 inches before we put our clamp. 
inches, 10 inches. And we can get our clamp there. See how uh, let's get the top snug. Uh, let's check for squareness first. 80 and a half. This one we are 80 and a half. So that's perfect right there. I like it. Our screws ready. I'm going on each side of the seam of each board, leaving about an inch from the edge. I originally had a different idea of how to build this door, but since it's so narrow, we're not gonna do it that way because it'd be a lot of short, tiny little pieces and it wouldn't help the door structurally at all. So we'll save that design for that front door. We'll do a little bit something different on this door. down on the floor back here. So I used up some of the boards for that back door right there. So we gotta run to the lumber yard sooner than what I expected. But right here would be one. Let's get these cut before we go. Cut them down to 82. 
So we can use this one It's exactly 82 Oh, right where we need it Oh no, like these are 14 footers, so we can get two of them out of here. We'll put this one for this edge if we can. See if we can get this knot out. Let's see where 82 falls. Right at the knot, but then actually we'll be cutting the door back more. So we'll be in the knot. So no, leave that end. Because I don't want the knot on the bottom. I'll go this way. That'll do this one. And now, Now we can cut this board to 82 inches. And that'll be our last long board for this door.
I'm gonna want one seven and a quarter. So yeah, if we rip that one down to seven and a quarter, I'll put that for our first one. We'll be able to save quite a bit of it. So seven and a quarter. Use a board that I thought was junk. Perfect. Figure I was running after you. Let's do this. We'll flush on that edge, so we'll go two, nine and three quarter, eleven and three quarter, twenty and a half. 22 and a half, and 31 and a quarter. We're gonna go three and a quarter, and then 41 and a quarter. All right, you wanna hold that board on that first pencil mark. Feed the pigs. Yeah. Were they excited? They loved it. What are you doing, Buttercup? You want to hand me a water jug? Yeah, but it has um. Mama got grass, grass clippings on bit. it. Yeah. How oh, look, she piled up the firewood by the apple tree too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, she made a rock tower, too? Oh my goodness. You built a little rock tower? Yeah. That one, that rock, it had like a little groove in it, so it felt like right on top of it. Oh, the top one could yeah. sit right in the groove? Cool beans. Love it. Want to go see the door mum built? Yeah. Why does it look different than the one that you built? Because we're going to cut this one probably right around here. And it's going to be hinged in two areas, so it's going to be a Dutch door. Oh, so I, I want to have the strips going this way to make the cut knit. Let's move it over here. Oh, no, that's heavy. Is it heavier than yours was? A little bit, a little bit bigger. So where is that one going to go? That's the back door that goes. Okay, and then that one's the one for here. That one is either the one for there or the one for the front. I haven't decided yet. And this short one is the other one for the goats. Oh, uh, what's uh, like, like the divider between the... The one that's going to go right there to the right side. It's got shorter head length. Sit. 
Go, Pluto. It's nice and cool out. Yeah. Feels good. How many eggs you thinking today? Um, yesterday we got 17, so I think maybe like 18. 18? Okay. Oh, now we got three hens in here. You counting? No. Eight. Oh my! You got eight. Got a little, little bitty one. So that's ten. Yeah, twelve. Yep. They are loud. Very loud. I see a cucumber. Mmm, it's nice and thin. Yeah, Any purple beans happening nope, yet? Not yet? The bugs are getting it. Oh. Now they're just starting to blossom. Look at the color of this one. It's pretty orange. Here, where's the bowl? What is it? What does this look like? I saw a flush. Look at this big pumpkin. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh. Oh, the first part is supposed to be that color. Yeah, that one. Wow! Why is it not turning orange? Except for the bowl. <laughs> how did you find that one? Yeah, well, how did you get in? Got a big arm load right there. Yep. Come on, Taylor. So I've been keeping a little secret from y'all, but I'm excited this week to announce it. We're going to be partnering with many of our homesteading YouTube friends to bring you what we're calling the DIY Abundance Homestead Crash Course. Inside this free video course, you'll learn the basics in homestead design, what to think about before setting out to buy your homestead, and how to plan for fall garden and more. In my video, I'll be teaching you three to five basic beneficial skills of how we planned and designed our homestead here, how we've gone about thinking about designing the barn, the farm, and why we're doing the things we're doing and the order we're doing them in. Going out and building a homestead, starting from scratch or just adding to your existing one, there's a lot of things to think about beforehand and while you're making it so you do it right and you don't have to go back and do it again. So I'm going to be sharing quite a bit of that stuff in our video. You'll also get access to food growing know-how from our friends. Here's the lineup. Justin Rhodes is going to teach you how to design your best homestead ever. Ben and Meg Holler, they're going to teach you what to think about before quitting the rat race to get into your homestead. Jason from Sow the Land is teaching how to build a veggie washing station. And Mike Dickerson, the fit farmer, teaches how to lose weight and stay fit on the farm. And also our friend Casey Ostwich teaches how to start your fall garden. Man, that guy knows how to garden. I gotta get some of his know-how. As you can see, there's a ton of great content, all for free in this limited time homesteading crash course. Be sure to sign up for free ASAP. It's going on this week, the free viewing. I'm gonna have a link in the video description down below. Some of you are probably thinking, what's the catch to this free event? Well, these are just a few of the videos that Justin Rhodes has inside of his Abundant Permaculture member area. After the free event, this guy's totally free. Go watch all these videos that are out there. If you don't like it, don't sign up for any more. But after the event, you're going to have a chance to get invited to join the Abundance Permaculture member area. You can access over hundreds of videos. We've had some videos on there that we've done in the past with Justin. And we're going to be making one new video a month. 
we're going to be reading through the comments in this group has its own private Facebook group. We're going to be going through that all the time and we're going to be seeing what you guys are asking for and what kind of videos you want. These aren't going to be our normal videos. These are going to be more teaching and hands-on videos. So if you guys are like, hey, we want to learn this. We want to know why you did this to your barn or why you're doing this on your homestead. That's what we'll make the content on. So if you guys want to take advantage of the free homestead and crash course, click the link in the description down below. I know we're going to be clicking on that link. I have not seen all the videos that everybody else made and I can't wait to see what they're going to be teaching us. There's always something to learn. I am a avid learner. I love learning. There's always something. So I'm going to be clicking and watching these videos. Thanks for coming along on our journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.